Cyclone Chiniso rapidly intensifying off the west coast of Madagascar on tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for January 25th. Well, apart from the obvious, the tropics are fairly quiet, with only Cyclone Chiniso, the main attraction on tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin, attracting our attention. A Category 1, its original intensity when it made landfall, it's levelled that and is probably going to blast through that and become much stronger in the near future. Well, let's take a look at the Atlantic Ocean with 127 days until hurricane season. You can see that big frontal system stretched out over the Western Atlantic and that massive storm complex which is blowing up in the south uh, part of the United States as well, extending through towards the Midwest. In the Australian region and the South Pacific, you can see here that things are looking rather quiet now. There's a bit of convection still hovering around northern Australia and quite a lot of unsettled weather in the tropical zone south of Indonesia. But across the wide expanse of the Indian Ocean, there's really not too much to talk about in terms of organized tropical cyclones till you get to the other side, near Madagascar, where Cyclone Chiniso is ramping up along the western coast of that island nation in the Mozambique Channel, where temperatures, uh, sea surface temperatures, are very warm along the western coast of Menabe province. Chiniso is expected to intensify substantially over the next few days and is likely now to reach Category 3 status and some suggesting possibly even Category 4 for its peak intensity as it rounds the southern side of the island. Satellite imagery in the last 24 hours, this is what it's looked like. Look out for red areas, looks like there's a few around the northern part of Australia, over Indonesia there, over parts of Madagascar as well, uh, where we're seeing very high amounts of rainfall that has occurred in that last 24 hour period. And here is the satellite imagery of the storm itself, close up first of all, and you can see just how well it's been developing. And look at the motion of it right now, it's actually still moving east-southeast towards land, uh, and the eye has been popping out all day and it looks like it's been getting better, better organised as we've been going along. Still producing uh, significant cloud tops on the land side as well, not very much, but a few spots there that will be getting high rain rates right now. I imagine that area is already sensitive after the amount of rainfall we've already seen, uh, which is probably well in excess of 20 inches widespread in northern Madagascar, but in the southern part we're still expecting quite a bit more and we'll take a look at the model projections shortly. This is the RAM imagery and now onto the uh, rapid imagery from the uh, Indian satellite and you can see the storm's progression once again on this imagery which is lagging a little bit uh, but those obviously the redder colors denoting uh, the more intense uh, bands and it's been spiraling around over the best cut the best part of the last 24 hours and it looks like it's been sustaining better and better as time has gone on with the eye deepening gradually also note substantial convective areas inland over Africa there as well, uh, not only in Mozambique but probably Zimbabwe there and towards Malawi as well. Sea surface temperatures across the globe look like this today. Look out for temperatures of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or more. That's around 26, 27 degrees Celsius. I know that we uh, have these double scale uh, operating right now uh, because we can't change the Fahrenheit on the graphic here. But you can see the Atlantic and the deep tropics uh, borderline temperatures. North Indian Ocean the same too in the Arabian Sea. Now look down to the southwest Indian there. That's the Mozambique Channel. Very warm temperatures pushing 29 degrees Celsius right now where Chiniso currently is and in the open ocean around 27 degrees uh, generally and even warmer once again off the west coast of Australia temperatures rebounding there compared to average up to 29 degrees plus and uh, hovering around that in the Gulf of Carpentaria as well. The uh, Coral Sea there in the upper uh, regions up to 29 Celsius around 28 to 29 as well in the South Pacific as a rule. Western Pacific still looking decent with those temperatures there, uh, mainly in the lower latitudes but starting to creep up just that little bit off the Philippine coast 
It's uh, 27 to 28 Celsius all the way up to southern and central Luzon. And in the South China Sea, starting to rebound up the Vietnamese coast just that little bit too. In the anomaly stakes, look out for the blue areas, that's below average, the yellows and reds above average, and it is rebounding back in the Australian region, it's not as far below average now. The Indian Ocean is hit and miss, uh, the Mozambique Channel, which Niso is heading into, above average, and in the Western Pacific, above average as well, which is interesting. The Atlantic, not really relevant at the moment, but that is also above average, particularly in the Gulf, which might be feeding into energy in the severe weather today. Look at the oceanic heat content down in the South Pacific and you can see that those colours are still uh, expanding a little bit towards uh, New Caledonia and in the Western Pacific looking decent there as well. Uh, still uh, quite a few pockets there of very high energy levels, uh, dark orange areas just to the south of Guam. Let's see what the GFS has for us today, the computer models. And this is what it expects out of Chiniso intensification, much more after it leaves the coast of Madagascar properly. And you can see tropical storm force winds buffeting uh, the coastline all the way around from the west to the south there. And it expands those tropical storm force winds to the west as well. Just look again, does it reach the coast there of Mozambique? Looks like it stays just off the coast. Uh, the track forecast has changed a little bit to the west and we are expecting probably a category three peak. This is the rainfall profile of what we're expecting in the next seven days. Look at those pink areas starting to emerge. That is for extreme, or not extreme quite, but very high amounts of rainfall, uh, possibly exceeding uh, 16 inches, which is 400 millimeters, and maybe up to 20, 21 inches there. That's over 500 millimeters. Look north as well. Some areas could still get a further 10 inches in the next seven days. That's 250 millimeters in some areas that were affected by uh, 40 inches, quadruple what we're still going to receive. Uh, in the last seven days. So really a massive rainfall flooding issue continuing there in Madagascar, but it's the western area, uh, mainly Minabe province, that's gonna be getting the worst of it this week, as well as Anasi in the south and Atsimo Antisanana in the southeast. Uh, looking out towards the 5 to 10 day period, the storm sweeps down towards the southeast and turns post tropical. Look towards the northeast there as well, another system starting to form in that 10 day period uh, in the tropical zone of the South Indian Ocean, far away from anything. Uh, but watch again, you can see uh, Chiniso there passing by Isle Amsterdam and continuing down towards the southeast. And that second system there as well. Well, that's the important stuff out of the way. You can scan the barcode and take a look at the Force 13 merch store where we have all of our usual items, our still waiting for Hone t-shirt and our full season and individual storm animations on request. Just follow the instructions. And in the Silly Range, this is uh, further out, days 10 to 16, two tropical cyclones there off Australia. The first one uh, over the wider Indian Ocean gets its elf going there and becomes a rather prominent storm, category two or three peak. The other system looks like it's coming back right at the end there as well. So it's just wandering around that region there and stays away from the coastline. So really in the models, apart from Chiniso, we're not looking at anything really major in the next two weeks or more, so uh, looking rather quiet. You can join our Discord server for tropical weather and normal weather chat on discord.gg slash force13. Uh, most of the conversation tonight is about a severe weather outbreak in the southern United States. You can also join for discussion on that too. Well then, what happened on January 25th, 1980? We had Cyclone Hyacinth, which became exceptionally well known for the amount of rainfall that it dumped over the island of Reunion. Uh, I believe it was over 200, mil uh, 200 inches, which is over 6,000 millimeters of rain over a 16 day period. Cyclone Brian was a category one and starting to weaken as it was shooting down through the Indian Ocean further east. And Clara was uh, push helping push it down as it was moving eastwards towards Australia. 
Well, let's take a look at this year then and the upcoming naming lists. In the Atlantic, our first name is Arlene. The Eastern Pacific, Adrian. And the, and the Central Pacific, we are still waiting for Hone. In the Western Pacific, next up is Sanvu. And in the North Indian Ocean, we'll be looking out for Mocha. Who knows which one of these lists will give us, grant us, our sixth storm of the year. It probably won't be a uh, Northern Hemisphere one. In the Southern Hemisphere, it could be Freddy in the Australian region, Dingani in the Southwest Indian, or Judy in the South Pacific. That's all for tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We'll be back again tomorrow night.